Okay, I need to clear something up about React because if you don't understand this, then you don't know React. Wait, no, don't listen to that guy. It turns out he doesn't know React at all. So what he was trying to say was that if in your React component, you go ahead and you declare a function like we have here, render content, and then you use that function inside of the body of this component, that it would be fine and that there would be no performance implications. It turns out that actually it is not fine and that there are performance implications. And unfortunately, I am that guy and I've been doing this wrong for many years. So let me explain how this works. So if you're creating a function here inside of a component, because in React functions get recreated on every single render, the contents of the function, all of this JSX here, is going to be forced to get recreated every single time that this app component changes. And that is fundamentally different than putting the function outside of the component, which now changes everything. Because now this function is a stable reference and React can use the virtual DOM to figure out if it actually changed and if it didn't, it wouldn't do anything. That was not possible with the previous approach. But that's not all. There's also another problem that you can run into this, and I didn't because I never used it this way. If you were to do something like const and then put here some state variable, this state would get lost every single time that the app component changes because once again, this entire function would get recreated from scratch every single time that a render would happen. So the conclusion is that you should never create a custom function like this in your React components and instead always opt to take that function and put it outside in a separate component and just use it like you would any other component. Now you know, now I know, and we're all better React developers for it. Please don't roast me in the comments.